Hey everybody, Dustin Dale's back here once again. I'm at the, at the CenturyLink Center. We got a big event going on this weekend. It's World of Wheels, and right now I'm joined by SmackDown Live General Manager Daniel Bryan of WWE. How you doing, bud? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm good, man. First off, I gotta say it. Congratulations on the new baby. Thank you. Yep. It's uh, she's not here yet, not but yet. April 30th is the due date. Uh, and you know it can ever come really any time mm. between now and then. So, are so you ready? Uh, I mean, everybody thinks they're ready. I don't know. Are, are you ever ready to be a father? I, yeah. I, but I'm, I'm excited, and uh, we're as prepared as we can be. Now, WrestleMania is coming up. It's obviously the biggest event of the year. What do people need to be in store for for WrestleMania? Uh, well, I mean, it's just going to be a, a spectacle this year. We've got Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar for the Universal title. We have Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt for the WWE Championship. Uh, there's going to be a mixed tag match mm -hmm. with my sister-in-law, which is Nikki Bella and John Cena teaming up <laughs> against Miz and Maurice. Uh, I mean, there's going to be just a ton of awesome matches. It, it's going to be really fun. Now, you've worked with a lot of the talent that's coming into the roster now. The guys hitting Raw, guys hitting SmackDown. Who should we be on the lookout for? Some guys that you've worked with before. Uh, so, one of the guys who I think is going to have a really good 2017 is Luke Harper. He just mm -hmm. broke away from Bray Wyatt, uh, and it has done pretty incredible since then. Uh, another guy that I think to watch out for, and he's going to have a cruiserweight championship match at WrestleMania, because I love, I love the cruiserweights. <laughs> Even though they're not on SmackDown Live, I love the cruiserweights. Is Austin Aries is uh, going to be in his first WrestleMania this year. Uh, going for the Cruiserweight Championship against uh, Neville. Now, you started off in the gyms, doing the thing all over the country, all over the world, and now you headlined WrestleMania 30 in one of the biggest shows that they've ever put on. Did you ever think you'd do that when you laced up your first pair of boots? Uh, well, it's weird because you don't think of it like that, right? Like, because you're stepping out in front of 15 people <laughs> who are heckling you because you don't look good in your spandex. And so it's not like when you step out and you're like, hey, man, you suck. Uh, it's not like you're thinking, well, I'll show you. I'm going to headline WrestleMania because they look at you like, you're an idiot. You don't even deserve to be in this armory let alone in WWE so but it's a progression you know what I mean and uh, and you keep aiming for the stars you know that's one of my things is that I I dream big and I like to pursue my dreams so that's you know that's how I got there you're a wrestler your wife's a wrestler is the baby gonna be a wrestler the baby can do whatever she wants okay. to do if she <laughs> I'm not going to discourage her <laughs> from wrestling but if she if she wants to wrestle she can if she wants to do ballet she can if she wants to write she can if she wants to be an environmentalist she can like anything um, that she wants to be we want to give her the love and the support to where she can feel like she can chase that dream very nice well I gotta say my wife I was actually surprised she actually told me for our honeymoon she's gonna surprise me with the Wrestlemania trip so I'll actually be down there It'll be fun down in Orlando. Well, that's not a surprise. If she told you, it's not she a surprise. I didn't think she'd let me do it. And then she's like, for the honeymoon, we're going to go to WrestleMania. I was like, what? Yeah, that sounds awesome, actually. That's pretty cool, man. Yeah, and it's a, it's a really fun week for people who want to go down there. I think it's going to be hard right now because I think most of the a lot of the events are sold out. But it's wild because it's like there's wrestling everywhere, and not just WWE wrestling. Like There's independent wrestling shows like every night. But for WWE, we've got like the Hall of Fame on Friday night. We've got a big NXT show on Saturday night. We've got wrestling. WrestleMania on Sunday, then Raw on Monday, then SmackDown on Tuesday, and like the crowd energy because people come in from all over the world to see WrestleMania, and it's just a different atmosphere. It's fun. It is. I'm looking forward to it. Daniel, thanks for hanging out with me, man. Yep. Thank you very much.